what I'm going to tell you today, they don't want you to know. A disclaimer, at one time I did work in the military. But back then, we were still relatively free back then. I never had to sign a confidentiality piece of paper. Now all these so-called Americans, they call themselves Americans, and they go in the FBI, and they go in the NSA, and cyber world, and go into all these government agencies. They all sign a confidentiality agreement, meaning they're not going to tell Americans the truth, meaning lots and lots of so-called Americans are already out there. They're out there. They're bought and paid for. The New World Order has taken them over by having them sign a little piece of paper. I'm, have, I'm here to tell you I never signed that piece of paper. Now I understand that these people in the FBI, the NSA, the CIA, the cyber world, I understand the penalties that they will receive. If they tell Americans the truth, they could go to prison. That's what they get for taking the man's money for selling out to the New World Order, they risk those penalties because they signed a piece of paper. I'm here to tell you I did not sign that paper. Back when I was in the military, we were free. So, I mean, you're never free in the military. Don't, don't get me wrong. But as Americans, we still had some freedom. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago that was. It was a long time ago. But what I'm going to tell you today is top secret. They don't want you to know about this because the implications are global. The risk are literally, we're talking about a global meltdown. You can imagine how serious these people take it. They, they go to work every day in their little suit and tie, and they think they're important. They don't have a clue. They signed a confidentiality agreement. They have sold out to the New World Order, and they think that this global government is going to take care of them. But they know that there are some problems. <laughs> Correction. They know that there are some big, big problems. That's why they've hired so many contractors to work for the government. They try to go around and pick the best. They're not very good at picking the best, but they try to pick the best, and they give them a contractor's job, a military contractor's job, have them sign a confidentiality agreement. What that means is they have taken an American out of the picture. That means that's one American who cannot tell you the truth. You see where I'm going with this? I'm here to say that if a person is working as a contractor, government agency, government worker, you cannot trust them because they cannot tell you the truth by law. They sign a piece of paper to tell that they're by law, by the new world order law, they have to lie to Americans or go to jail. So what they do is they keep their mouth shut. That's what their bosses tell them. All the officials at the top of the agencies just tell these so-called Americans working for these government agencies, they just say, just keep your mouth shut, and you'll stay out of trouble. Remember that paper you signed. Okay, let's get right, let's get right to it. Let's get right to the nitty-gritty. What they do not want you to know about. Here's the facts. If you add up all the cash in the world, if you add up all the gold in the world, all the silver in the world, and all the Bitcoin in the world, it will not pay off the United States national debt. Now, what are the implications of this? Well, obviously, it's scary because they know that when you're looking at this on logically, when you're looking at this debt logically, that the world's going to one time, well, they're going to figure out that you, the Federal Reserve cannot just keep on pushing buttons and keep on pushing buttons and paying this trillion dollars, the interest, just paying the interest off on $20 trillion. Now, remember this. When this chart tells you that the national debt is $20 trillion, we're talking ballpark figures here, that doesn't include Social Security, Medicaid, and all the rest of those social socialism programs. 
Don't forget this, that the true number that the Americans owe is well over $200 trillion. It's, it cannot be paid off in today's assets. It cannot be paid off. But we're going to go just by the chart on the official number, 19 or $20 trillion. If you add up all the physical currency, all the physical gold, silver, and Bitcoin, there's not enough to pay off the debt. They know this. All this information has been put into their artificial intelligence computers because they don't have anybody in the intelligence community that can think on their own. Think about it. They got all these so-called think tanks. They got all these college graduates in these think tanks. They can't figure out anything. They can barely tie their shoelaces. They're scared to death of 10 drops of mercury. You put, a, you put 5 or 10 droplets of mercury in a school and they all panic. I mean, these kids are morons. They put them in think tanks. They cannot come up with anything logical. So what the agencies are doing now is they're putting all the information into artificial intelligence programs and they think they're going to get the right answer there. What they've come up with is this. Is what, this is what scares them half to death. There's not enough money, gold, silver, Bitcoin out there to pay it off. It's not enough. This scares them half to death because they know there's going to be a, a global meltdown soon. So they've come up with a solution. And this is really the part they don't want you to know about. Obviously everybody knows that the governments have put us on obligation for too much money. Everybody knows the governments have borrowed too much money and there's not enough money out there to pay off the debts. Everybody knows that. What people don't know is something has to be invented. Something has to be created to fix the problem, to fix the solution that they put us into. Remember, the Americans didn't. We didn't put ourselves into this. We didn't get ourselves into this. I mean, our governments, our governments borrowed too much money. Yeah, the governments borrowed the money and gave it to all the hungry mouths. All the crybabies had their mouth open. Gimme, 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 gimme. And the governments gave it to them. Governments gave it to them. All the dirty, filthy politicians just handed out the money. It wasn't their money. They gave it away. I won't go on a, I won't go on a rant here. I will not go off on a rant. We're going to keep this logical the top secret information they don't want you to know about is they have to invent a new asset. They have to invent it. They have to get the young people to accept it. And then once it's invented, once the young people accept it, and then the young people will work, the young people will take this in, in exchange for their work, remember this, it's the most important part of the video. Not so much for the old people who are done working, but mainly for the young people who are working. You have to agree. Whatever these people want to impose on you, you have to agree to it. Everybody. Everybody has to agree to it. That's the most important part of the equation. See, they already know that you're not, to, you're not going to agree to, they cannot go house to house and say, okay, hand me over all your cash, all your gold, all your silver, all your diamonds, all your Bitcoin, hand it over. Because even if they tried that, it still would not be enough to pay off the debt. So understand this. You as young people, you as the working people of America, you have to agree to whatever they try to impose upon you. Now, see, we've been through this before. The reason why we know what's happening is because it happened in 1920s, the Weimar, 1923 Germany. You see, people lost faith in the German mark. What happened was the Germans had to create something new. You see, that's the trick I'm trying to impress upon you today. The trick, the top secret trick that they're going to have to do is they have to create something new that you will agree to. You will, you will think it's worth something. In Germany, they created a new mark. That new mark was backed by the real estate. The Germans agreed to it, and the Weimar situation was corrected just like that. Don't forget it. The Weimar situation crushed everybody. The Weimar German mark 
collapse broke everybody, but as soon as the German officials created a new German mark, had it backed by some sort of real estate scam, the Germans agreed to it. The Germans agreed to what the authorities were opposed up, were imposing upon them, and everything was okay. So I hope you see where I'm going with this. The top secret information that they don't want you to know about today, because if they're going to impose this new thing upon you, you have to agree to it. The young people will agree to it with open arms. The reason why I know they will is because it's almost in place. When I say they're going to create something new, that's only half true, because it's already been created we're talking about cyber con cyber digits here. Bitcoin. You see, when Bitcoin was invented, again, they weren't sure if you were going to accept it. It all comes down to the majority of the young people have to accept it. Now, Bitcoin has been very, very successful, but not that successful. Let's look at the numbers. You see at the top of the screen there, it says Bitcoin. What is that? 0 0.009 trillion. It's not big enough. You see, that's what I'm talking about. What they're going to create. The idea has already been created. What they don't know, they, they're not sure that Bitcoin is going to take off where the majority of the people will accept it. That's the secret. They have to create a new digital currency, a new digital asset that the young people will accept, but that number has to be way, way bigger than 20 trillion. So this new thing that they're going to create, let's just say hypothetically Bitcoin were to take off. Somehow the government promotes it and Bitcoin takes off. It's highly unlikely because supposedly Bitcoin is not supposed to be able to grow in number anymore. See, that's why Bitcoin is probably not going to be what they're going to invent. But what they are going to invent is going to look almost exactly like Bitcoin. You see, Bitcoin was an experiment, a trial run. You see why the CIA was in on it? This, when they were creating Bitcoin, the CIA was in the room watching their eyes were wide open. They say, Jesus, this is a great idea. Why didn't we think about that? Because the government's stupid. You see, the government doesn't think up anything. The government just steals ideas. They want to be in the room. When the smartest people in the room are thinking, the government wants to be there listening to the whole conversation. And they were there. The CIA was there in the room the whole time Bitcoin was created, that was a trial run. It was an experiment. Now, when the government comes up with the new asset, this new digital currency, the number will have to look like, um, you're talking, over a thousand trillion. The number will be huge. And then, like I say, the trick is the young people have to accept it. Remember, Whatever they impose upon you, the people have to accept it. Now, once the government knows, now that the young people have accepted Bitcoin, they know that the young people like Bitcoin, now it's going to be a new asset that the government will be in control of. It'll look a lot like Bitcoin. Again, a new asset. Then the, the young people will work for it. The government will give them in exchange for their work, they will get this new digital currency, and then the young people will be able to pay off the debt with the new asset, which will be in huge numbers. Like I say, it'll be over a thousand trillion in combined numbers. And then that $19 trillion doesn't look so big. You see, that's the secret. If you add up all the cash today, one last time, the last time we talk about this and it's over. If you, if you add up all the cash, the gold, the silver, the Bitcoin, there's not enough to pay off the debt. Duh. You don't have to be a rocket scientist here. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to realize that they have to create something new. A new asset, just like the Germans did. See, 
we this ain't our first rodeo people this is not our first rodeo we've been through this before just go into your history books go back to 1920s 1923 germany you see the government ain't smart people come on i might be a hillbilly from the appalachian mountains myself but you don't have to be a rocket scientist here. You don't have to be a brain surgeon because the playbook has already been made for us. Don't you know how these government people work? All they do is go back to Germany and try to copy whatever they did in Germany because it worked. Everything worked in Germany. In 1923, boom, the currency collapsed. But these people were smart enough to say, okay, we're going to make a new asset. We're going to back it by real estate. And voila, the Germans accepted it. It was imposed upon the Germans. But the most important part, the Germans accepted it. They had faith in it. And that's the trick. That's the top secret information I have to share with you. That the young people have to accept this new asset that these fascist pigs are going to throw down our throat. They're going to try to impose it upon us. But you have to accept it. And once all the young people accept it, in exchange for their work, well, then the national debt will be paid off just like that. Voila. Just like 1920s Weimar Germany. You see? It's that easy, people. It's that easy. Get ready. It's coming.